Android Q Beta 3 is now available to download. This time, it's not limited to only Pixel device and a couple of other phones. There are actually over 20 smartphones on which you can install Android Q Beta 3. Now, we decided to show you how to install Android Q Beta 3 on the Realme 3 Pro for multiple reasons. The first of these is obviously that the Realme 3 Pro is a budget smartphone that a lot of people already own. It's also a really good phone as you can check out in our review of the Realme 3 Pro. And Installing Android Q Beta 3 on the Realme 3 Pro is actually a pretty simple process. You don't have to know advanced coding to get this done. So because of these reasons, we decided that it's a good idea to show you how to install Android Q Beta 3 on this smartphone. Before you begin that, you should know that installing Android Q Beta 3 comes with a set of risks. The first of these is that you can lose all of your data, so make sure you back up everything on your Android phone. If you can't do that, make sure that you use a secondary smartphone to install this. Don't do it on your primary device. Android Q Beta 3 is also unreleased software, which means that key functions of the OS such as making phone calls and sending text messages, etc. may not work properly all the time. So for these reasons, we highly recommend that you understand the risk, take a full backup of your phone, also use a secondary device if possible to install Android Q Beta 3. Now if you understand all of these things, you are free to proceed. Let's check out how to install Android Q Beta 3 on the Realme 3 Pro. Okay, so let's try and install Android Q Beta 3 on the Realme 3 Pro. Uh, process is simple, just takes a little bit of time because you have to download about 2 GB of data. Um, that's the file size. So I had already opened this before, let me just quickly close this tab and open a new one. Go to android.com slash beta, there you are. Once more, let's scroll all the way to find Realme. There it is, tap get the beta here. Take you to Realme's website. Scroll down, tap join Android Q beta. On this page, you can look for the ROM. All the flashing instructions are given here, which is pretty simple. We'll walk you through the steps. Now, there is a file here which says p2q.ozip. So you gotta download this file first. Okay, so you need to download about 1.16 GB of data here. We'll wait for that to happen. And once that's done, we'll start this process. You can download this file on pretty much any device and transfer it to the Android phone. Um, this It's not compulsory to download this p2q.ozip file on the Realme 3 Pro, but it's just convenient if you do it on this device. So the download is complete. We'll proceed with the installation. The process is quite simple, just have to shut down the phone first. Now, switch the phone on by holding the power and volume down buttons at the same time. ColorOS recovery mode looks a little different from uh, stock Android's recovery mode. Uh, for a change, you can read the text on screen in this recovery mode, in stock Android's uh, recovery mode. As you'll see in a bit, you won't be able to read much because the font size is really tiny. So uh, here in ColorOS recovery, all you have to do is select install from storage device. Uh, you can select from phone storage after that. Go to download. Then the file shows up here, peak2q.ozip. Tap that. It says the installation cannot be undone, so you just gotta tap OK here. Uh, you can actually roll back to Android Pie as well, that process will show you in a bit. So tap OK. The update process has begun. The brightness is really low on the screen for some reason during the update process, but it'll be done in a couple of minutes. And there you have it, the installation of Android Q Beta has been successful. Now you just gotta tap reboot to boot into Android Q Beta on the Realme 3 Pro.
All right, Android Q Beta 3 has been installed on this phone now. Tap OK and you can proceed with setting up the phone. Uh, we are not going to do that right now. We'll do it in a bit. But rest assured, this process went through smoothly because we're seeing the screen. So first step is obviously very simple. Android Q Beta, you go to this page. You scroll down, look for Realme 3 Pro. It's an alphabetical order, so Realme 3 Pro is here. Click get the beta. This will take you to Realme's website for Android Q Beta. Scroll down a bit and there's a button called join Android Q Beta. Now this is what you got to tap. Now, the first step is obviously to figure out what you want to do. This page is for two things. One is to install Android Q Beta and also to return to Android P from Android Q Beta. Now here we want to roll back from Android Q to Android P and this is a pretty simple process. All you need to do is scroll down here and there is a file called q2p.zip that you got to download. So once you tap this, it will start downloading it and once the download is complete, then you can begin the process of rolling back from Q to P. So once the download is complete, you need to restart the device. First, uh, let's power it off. Now, when powering it back on, you need to hit the volume down button along with the power button at the same time. Yeah, so once the phone is switched off, make sure it's off and then power and volume down, hold both of these down and let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, here we are. Hopefully this is visible to you on screen. What I'm going to do here, uh, this is the recovery mode for the Realme 3 Pro. What I'm going to do here is just Use the volume buttons to scroll down. Now there's an option here called apply update from phone storage. This is the one we got to select. Hit the power button to select it. And just here you can see a list of folders. Now we've downloaded the update to the folder download. So here there's uh, only one file right now which is q2p.zip. This is the file that we need to select and it'll automatically begin the update process. So here. This doesn't look particularly great, it's a very tiny font size, not very well optimized for the screen, but rest assured the update is happening. Okay, so the update is done, it didn't take too long actually, just about 3 or 4 minutes. Now we click reboot system now, you select this by hitting the power button. Alright, it looks like we are back to Android Pie. Thanks for watching this video and for all things tech, check out gadgets360.com.